Abraham, I am so adverse to well-being. And I really struggle with it. I mean, I really have a hard time risking well-being. And I can't seem to break the pattern. What do you mean by risking well-being? Those are interesting words. (laughs) Well-chosen. Okay. Things like um, I'll have a positive thought about myself. And instead of latching onto the thought and letting it grow, I just kind of let it dissipate and go right back to thinking something negative. Uh, well, now I, that's lo- that's logical, isn't it? In light of what you've been hearing here today, law of attraction is really perpetuating that. So that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. What you just said is law of attraction is responding to my thought and it's easier for me to think the thoughts that I've been thinking than it is for me to think new thoughts. But then you said something else that's really worth noting. You said, I can think a different thought, but I don't maintain it very long without going back to the other thought. But I can think another thought. So now you want to just soothe yourself a little further by saying, well, I can think another thought, and while I don't always maintain the new thought, I do have the ability to think another thought, so I guess I could just try to think it more often, and maybe I'm hoping that as I think the new thought, that the new thought will get a foothold and it will become easier and easier to think, and I'm willing to watch for evidence of that, and maybe if I don't take the thoughts that I have the most habit of thinking and try to change them. Maybe if I just reach for some new thoughts, I can show myself that I do have the ability to think new thoughts, and then gradually I can tiptoe into changing some thoughts. But mostly I'm doing pretty good, and while I could do better, I'm not really unhappy with how I'm doing, and and I am working to think thoughts that feel a little better. And You see what we're doing? Just kind of keep talking, just Talk yourself into it, and that's the way you gradually change the way you think about something. Okay. You don't ever do it all at once. We always say to our friends, it's interesting to watch you. You come to this gathering, formerly we called it the science of deliberate creation. Now, we call it more softly the art of allowing. But still, people come. They are going to get control of their lives. And so they'll take the issue that they have been dragging around with out success for the longest period of time and they say I think I'll start here and we say let's not let's start with something a lot easier let's start with something where you're sure to be able to show yourself that you can shift vibration because we know if you can show yourself on any subject that you can shift vibration we know the universe will show you with manifested evidence that you have shifted vibration So our encouragement is to start with the things that are easier and then work up to the things that are stronger. And when you work to change the way you feel about your body, the rewards are huge because uh, when things start shifting for you on that kind of a personal basis, it is truly wonderful. But it's also the hardest place to start because you have the strongest habits of thought about your body that you do about anything because you've been observing your body and responding to the way your body feels and looks and bees and responding to the way others respond to it. And so while it is the most rewarding topic to work on and ultimately the most satisfying topic to work on, it is also not the first place to start. Okay. There's more to the issue for me, I guess, because I consciously make the decision to avoid risk-taking. Taking the example of the body. I've had images come through lately where I can see myself at a normal body size. Yes. um, Dressed really nicely. Yes. You know, moving through the day very well with the body. And then I would just consciously decide to think something else. (laughs) Negative. We don't think you're consciously trying to sabotage your own thoughts. We think that you are sensitive to the thoughts that you're thinking and you are observing that these thoughts are easier for you to think than these thoughts. It's sort of like if somebody said to you, all right, now we're going to do 50 sit-ups. So everyone lay on the floor and let's do 50 sit-ups. A lot of you would do one. 
Okay. A lot of you would do one, and then you would lie down and hope nobody noticed that you weren't doing <laughs> any more. And it's it isn't because you didn't think about doing them, and it isn't because you couldn't make the effort to do them. Okay. It's just that you don't want to do them all that much, and you're and it's not easy for you to do it all that much. And frankly, it's easier for you to just lay on the floor than to do the sit-ups. And this is not different from that. These are like sort of like mental sit-ups. It's just easier to think the thought that you've already trained yourself to think because you've already got that vibration activated within you. So that's the vibration that's flowing. It's sort of like a train that's moving a hundred miles an hour in that direction. It's easier for it to continue to move a hundred miles an hour in that direction than it is to begin instantly moving a hundred miles an hour in that direction or even for it to stop moving at all. There is a momentum factor. Even if all of the energy was cut from it, even if the fuel stopped and, and the engine was turned off, still that momentum is in place. And it's the same sort of thing with the vibrational momentum. So we want you to begin today to try to not beat up on yourself about that. Because what you said to us, and we don't think it's true, and we want you to know that we don't think it's true, you said, I deliberately sabotage myself. And we would rather say, law of attraction keeps my thoughts moving in the direction that they have been moving, and it will take me a little effort to change the direction of those thoughts. And I'm willing to do it, and I'm capable of doing it. Can you feel how much softer that feels? There's so much less resistance in that, you see. Okay. Well, I think... When I do that, I get a fear that I may not turn my thoughts around fast enough or in time enough for me to enjoy the benefits before I'm old and dead. <laughs> well, that's because, and, and we can understand how you would come to that conclusion. It's also the reason that we started the way we did today when we say, when you've been scattering your thoughts without knowing you're doing it and therefore not getting the results, therefore you conclude, I'm not capable of doing this. So you haven't given what you're coming to know a chance to succeed yet. And that's why we try to make the distinction here today between the action journey and the emotional journey because you have not made the emotional journey. As Jerry and Esther drive across the desert from Phoenix to San Diego, they understand the journey. So it's easy to stay focused in the right direction and to accomplish it, even though most of that 400-mile journey, they're not where they want to be. They're in the desert. They want to be in San Diego, but they're in the desert. But they don't feel disheartened and they don't feel discouraged because they know that they're going to be where they want to be. And so they keep faith. They keep focused. They keep the direction. They keep moving in the right direction. And they have the manifestation that they're reaching for, you see. But if they didn't understand that, if their compass was all out of whack, if it was a nighttime and they couldn't tell which way was west and there were no road signs and they were just driving and then they'd say, well, are we going in the right direction? Well, I don't know. Maybe we should go in the other direction. So they go 20 miles that way and then 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 20 miles that way in time they'd say we're going to be old and dead before we even get to San Diego I don't think I have enough life left to get to where I want to go and we say when you get focused and faced in the right direction you're going to get there you see but how are you going to know how do you know that you're moving in the right direction because the thought feels good it's a thought that I like me and it's a thought that it's going to be all right and it's a thought that I'm not bad and it's a thought that I have not wasted my life. Those are the beginning of turning the negative thought to the positive thought. I can do this and I don't have to do it all at once and I'm going to figure this out and, and I know there's other people that have been right where I am that have figured it out and I don't need to take the same path that anybody else has taken and, and I can make myself feel better and I feel good a lot of the time right where I am and I'm not unhappy with myself I love myself in so many ways and and I'm gonna love myself even more as I get more into vibrational alignment with what I'm wanting and I have a good body I have a responsive body I've got all of these cells I adore my body in so many ways I love my mind and I love my skin and I love my muscles and I love my bones and I love my eyes I love my nose I love my ears I love this body this is a good body and this body will become that which I want it to be and I understand that my body is responding to the image that I've picked up on it and I don't know exactly how 
I formulated this image, but I do accept that the image that I've formulated, that the way I feel about my body is the way it's now showing itself to me. And I believe that I can gradually change this image, not all at once. I wouldn't want to change it all at once. If I could change the image all at once and my body would drastically change, it would be hard on my body. I want to lovingly evolve this body so that it matches the image that I have. And those glimpses of myself in my body feeling good and looking good, I'm going to encourage them. I'm going to think them as much as I can and, and I'm going to look at other beautiful people and I'm going to enjoy the beauty of them and I'm going to expect good things to come to me and I'm just going to do it gradually and softly and easily and joyfully. Not because I want Decatur, Indiana to fix my motor coach when I get there, <laughs> but because it feels better to think this thought now. I can be fat and happy or I can be fat and unhappy. And I can be on my way to slender and happy or on my way to slender and unhappy. In other words, make the decision and then make the decision feel good. Make the decision feel good. Make the decision feel good. And this is certainly a situation where you have to decide. We wouldn't say it out loud to a lot of people because a lot of people wouldn't understand. But you've got to decide that how other people see you is no longer an issue that it's your relationship with you I feel a little better in this moment than I just did and overall I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday and uh, I just keep feeling better and better and better I, I feel good I feel good we want you to be comfortable with yourself. We want you to like yourself. And we want to announce to you and everybody else, you're a work in progress, you're a work in progress, you are incomplete, 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 incomplete. So to announce yourself as finished, and that's sort of what you're doing. Here I am and this is where I am and I'm afraid that this is where I will always be right up to my death. Well, this isn't who you will be right up until your death. You're a changing being, but you know what? You're changing to something that appears to be the same over and over. Things are always changing. They can change to the new image if you want them to. They can. And so we don't want you to change to a new image because we disapprove of your image. We want you to change to a new image because the image that you found feels better to you than the image that you have. And we want you to feel the power of watching your body respond. Esther had a really interesting experience and we're going to announce it to you at the same time that we announce it to Jerry and maybe <laughs> Esther will hear it and maybe she won't we'll decide later about how much she hears about this <laughs> but an interesting thing happened to Esther she bought some elastic sort of pants jeans and they fit her when she bought them and then during the first week that she had them, she continued to lose a little weight. So they got big on her right away. But because of the elastic nature of them, the pants got bigger and bigger. But Esther thought she was shrinking. <laughs> and so guess what? She did. In other words, her pants... Don't tell her. <laughs> Her pants gave her the feeling sensation of shrinking. And she began announcing to Jerry, look at this, 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 look at this. She got into the vibrational vibe of shrinking and then she began to shrink. The way you feel is everything. Much of the world would say, oh, you're delusionary. Much of the world would say, oh, you're in denial. And we say, whatever it takes, to tweak the way you feel because the way you feel is everything you see people who feel beautiful are beautiful people who feel fat are fat people who feel thin are thin people who feel smart are smart people who feel dumb are dumb in other words the way you feel is the way your body responds to your environment every single time no exceptions you see so get some stretchy pants and announce to yourself that, that you are shrinking and, and, and get a mirror that makes you look skinnier than the mirror that you've got. And, and when you walk past a reflection that is attractive in nature, look at it. And if you know that it isn't, then don't look. In other words, do everything that you can do to enhance the feeling sensation of 
feeling just a little bit more the way you want to feel and it is our promise to you that these magnificent cooperative listening tuned in cells of your body are eagerly conforming to the image that you have of you.